deep in the mountains of Colorado, there stood a grand old hotel called the Stanley. With its white pillars and sprawling lawns, it looked like it belonged in a fairy tale. But this hotel had a spooky secret. You see, many people believed it was haunted. Long ago, a kind man named Mr. Stanley built the hotel. He wanted it to be a place where people could rest and be happy. And for many years, it was. Families would come to stay, play in the gardens, and enjoy the beautiful views. But one night, a terrible storm rolled in. Thunder boomed, lightning flashed, and the lights in the hotel flickered and went out. As the wind howled outside, strange noises began to echo through the halls. Guests whispered about seeing shadows move on their own and hearing soft footsteps when no one was there. They said the piano in the ballroom played by itself. Soon, tales of ghosts spread far and wide. People spoke of Mr. Stanley himself wandering the halls, checking that everything was just right. They said he wore a top hat and would tip it politely if you saw him. There was also the ghost of Mrs. Wilson, a maid who had worked at the hotel for many years. She was very particular about her job and didn't like it when things were out of place. Sometimes guests would find their bags unpacked or their shoes neatly lined up by the door, and they knew it was Mrs. Wilson taking care of them, even from beyond the grave. As years went on, the Stanley became famous for its friendly ghosts. Some people came just to see if they could spot one. On clear nights, you could see the silhouette of Mr. Stanley in the windows, looking out over his beloved hotel. If you listen closely, you might even hear Mrs. Wilson humming a tune as she tidied up a room. One warm summer day, a curious little girl named Lily came to stay at the Stanley with her parents. She had heard all the ghost stories and wanted to see if they were true. Armed with a flashlight and her brave teddy bear, Sir Paws, Lily tiptoed through the hallways. As she walked, she thought she saw a shadow move out of the corner of her eye. She spun around, but no one was there. In the ballroom, the piano let out a soft, clear note. Lily's heart raced with excitement. She whispered, hello? But only silence answered. Just as she was about to leave, she felt a soft breeze ruffle her hair. There, in the dim light, she saw a kind old man with a top hat. He tipped it to her with a gentle smile before disappearing into the wall. Lily gasped. She had seen Mr. Stanley. Thrilled and not a bit scared, she raced back to her room to tell her parents. From then on, Lily believed in the magic of the Stanley Hotel. She knew its ghosts were happy to share their special home with those who visited. And whenever she heard someone playing the piano just a little out of tune, she smiled, knowing it was just one of the friendly spirits making music for the guests. The Stanley Hotel remained a place of wonder, where the past and present danced together in the moonlit halls, and where every guest felt the warmest of welcomes, even from those who had long since departed.